welcome to Digital Therapy Coaching and happy Mother's Day. I was thinking about what I wanted to do for, for Mother's Day. Mother's Day can be hard. Mother's Day can be beautiful. I understand. I understand it all. I've got mixed feelings about it too. I've cried on Mother's Day or enjoyed it. So I wanted to come and give you something special today. So I have a doodle for you. And it's going to take about an hour. So get out your paints and give yourself some time. If you don't have time today, do it another day. Give yourself some time with yourself this day to really ponder and maybe give yourself some new thoughts to think around Mother's Day or around yourself as a mother. It kind of, It's kind of complicated. You might have a bad relationship with your mother or your mother might be have passed on now. You might have great relationships with your children, or you may not. All of the things can get all messed up, so all mixed up, let's say. So let's pull it apart a little bit and do this fun doodle. And I'll see you at the end. You see it, but it doesn't matter. Um, don't get caught up in the sketching. We're just going to get started and and filling in the color. Okay, so we're filling in the color. We're going to fill in her dress. We made her dress big. So make it big because we want to have at the end, we're going to write all over her dress and we need room. So make sure that you, she's wide. Even if you don't want to be wide, make her wide. Give, give us room to have some thoughts and write them down. So just follow this and make her dress it could be one color. Sometimes I like to make a base color and then drop the other colors in there. You do you. So just, just start painting and quit and don't overthink it. Just give her some color or color her in and give her a dress you like. You can even draw flowers on it if you'd like, but let's Let's get started with that. All right, so we've cut, I've colored in her dress. And so the next thing we're going to do is move up and start on her hair. And the hair, I made it long. If you don't want it long, have it short. Um, this is all your, this is your dress. This is your girl. And I, I wanted to make her hair different. So her hair is blue in my, for, for me do have you can do whatever you want if you want to have red or or brown or blonde usual colors or gray those are fine if you want to use something else this is your thing this is we're playing with a purpose so have some fun 
let's have let's let's paint away and see what we can come up with and then we'll go on to the other side um I'm keep trying to add enough darkness so that she, that it shows up and what will your girl look like maybe she wants short hair or spiky hair or or whatever you want Now we go to the other side and we're going to do the same thing and and get, I wanted some curl so I made some waves on the outside you can do that you can have it straight whatever you want have some fun with this okay now we're moving on to the eyes now let's talk about the eyes um, I'm doing more complicated eyes and you're more than welcome to to do that or you can just do a round circle or you can do um something something else Okay, so eyes, we can do, I mean, these are just fine and work great. Just there, maybe, okay, my camera, anyway, my camera makes them look crooked and I guess they are, or you can do the same thing and then do this or you can do eyes and do your eyebrows to make them different um the ones that i'm doing look like this and then this is colored colored in so All right. I'm putting the skin color on. I feel like this one's a little too yellow, so I'll probably end up mixing in some red and give her a little more of a blush look. I'm, I'm laughing a little bit because you see the flickering on my screen. It's taking me three days to figure out what this, the, the the flashing on the screen is and it really was just now the flashing on the screen is because i have filters on my camera and it's showing lips super funny but we're just going to go forth and forward and and laugh at me for a minute it's just okay, okay. <clears throat> so there's the red and we're just going to add the red to it and spread it out And give her a face. So there we go. The blue hair started to run into the face, so we might have to do some cleanup on that.
Now we're going to paint in some lips and they're going to have a little kind of V. I'm just going to give it, give her some nice red lips there. There's a little cleanup of the blue that was starting to, to blend into the face. I'm going to take out a little green because I feel like their the eyes are a little bit too dark. Now, about this time where we're like thinking she's ugly, like and getting frustrated, right? And, and this is really a teaching moment for all of us that we're all we're all in we're all in development. We're all being created, and and we have to work through some of the ugly stages to get to the pretty stage. Keep working. This will turn out good in the end. Don't give up yet. Darken her up her hair a little bit. Do some work on those eyes. I'm going to outline them. Once again, if you don't want to do these eyes, please fast forward past this. We're going to add, we're going to outline the eyes in some black and add, our, add some eyelashes. Um, put the little, the little C underneath right above her lips with the line to outline her nose. And I have the, the white acrylic pen that I'm going to use some as we go along. And the black, we're going to outline it and give her pupils and give her some reflection.
And then we're going to paint her heart whatever color you want. I wanted to do gold. I have some gold metallic. You use what you want. And I keep working on the eyes because they're new to me, but you, you do you. I'm going to do a background now. I'm going to use blue, but I am worried that it's going to um, blend in with the hair. Give her some eyebrows, and I don't, I don't care if we go into her hair. And now let's give her some, so use that white acrylic pen and give her some more curly and wavies in there. And you can also use another color, which we'll do later. So I use a darker, darker one um, to make the curls. And right here, I feel like the arms are trying are a little too thin, so I'm just adding to it. It's it's all right. That's the whole point of all this. Is we're not trying to be perfectionists here. We're just trying to create a likeness. So don't get up, don't get stuck on the not good enough, the not. And I like how the yellow kind of shows through around her right here. I wish it, it was everywhere, but I really like that. Now, is it, she's starting to turn into something. And here we are with using the, the darker color in the hair. And now we're ready to move on and, and do... And, and right here I'm giving a little detail as I do some uh, dark shadow behind her shoulder and then smudging it so it kind of gives a little more depth. And you can play with all that stuff if you want. It's just great. Here we go. We do the same thing by her face, give it a little more depth and depth dimension. Okay, so now we're going to write words all over her body to remind So new thoughts, new thoughts that we can think. Sometimes we get stuck and we think we're not worthy or we weren't good enough or we made a lot of mistakes. So these are the thought options that I thought I have written, but you can come up with all your own. Um, I'm always learning is one of mine. I'm always learning, and it's okay that I don't didn't know everything at the certain time in my life. I am loved. I love myself. I can share my wisdom. I have done hard things. I am growing. I am courageous. I am brave. I am doing my best. I had I did my best. I accept my humanness. We all make mistakes. 
Keep going. Don't stop now. What other people think is none of my business. My number one priority is to take care of me. So that was a lot. And I'm going to repeat it in case you miss it. In case you want to use some of these. I am always learning. I have done hard things. I am loved. I can share my wisdom. I am courageous. I am growing. I am brave. I am doing my best. I accept my humanness. We all make mistakes. Keep going. Don't stop now. What other people think is none of my business. My number one priority is to take care of me. So I want you to write all these down and think about, about yourself and how, what, how you want to encourage yourself and rem what you want to remind yourself on this, of, on this Mother's Day. And go forth. Write all the words on there, all the kind words. And um, don't forget how beautiful and wonderful you are and valuable. Um, hang this up for you to see and remind yourself and we'll see you next time.